Are you having or just had a baby? Are you worried about the effect on your body? Have you got cellulite in places you just can't shift? Well, don't worry. All of your questions will be answered and much, much more. Coming up, we'll be revealing what the Mummy Makeover is all about. You might have heard about it in the news, and we'll be showing you how it can be achieved surgically and non-surgically. Plus, we've got a live treatment going on right here in the studio. We have a sports celebrity and his wife talking about their cosmetic experience later on in the show. As it's our final show, I'll be placing my own body on the line to disprove a common myth. I'm here at an aesthetics meeting to find out about some of the latest products and treatments for use post-pregnancy. Now melasma, or pregnancy mask as it's sometimes known, is a problem for a lot of women after they've given birth. It causes patches of brown pigmentation to form on your face. Now traditionally this can only be treated with prescription products like hydroquinone, but these have been shown to be quite dangerous and a bit controversial. However, this product, Lumixol, is a new skin brightening system. It uses four steps and it's been shown in clinical trials to be just as effective as prescription products. However, it's non-toxic, so it's totally safe to use, even if you're breastfeeding. One of the biggest problems that women get post-pregnancy is stretch marks. Now, traditionally, these have been really difficult to treat, but thanks to this treatment, carboxytherapy, or carbon dioxide therapy, they can now be treated in as little as 15 minutes. The treatment's got little or no downtime and works by injecting carbon dioxide gas beneath the skin using a tiny needle. This encourages blood flow and oxygen to the area, which improves the appearance of things like scars, and skin elasticity, so you can get rid of your stretch marks easily. Did you know the top concerns for women post-pregnancy were their weight, stretch marks, loose skin, cellulite and saggy breasts? 93% of women said that they would concentrate on getting their body back in shape after pregnancy. Out of this group, a staggering 39% said that they would consider some form of mummy makeover to get their bodies back to how they were. Over half of these women would prefer having some form of cosmetic surgery while still in hospital after giving birth. Now 71% of males said that they didn't care about their partners gaining too much weight after pregnancy. But 16% of males said that they were worried about their partners gaining too much weight during pregnancy. 67% of women were worried their husbands won't find them attractive during pregnancy. The majority of men and women interviewed said that they would be more willing to have cosmetic treatments such as Botox or dental treatments if their partner was having something done also. Don't forget to keep checking MyFaceMyBody.com for the latest news and facts. Did you know that around 90% of treatments are performed on women, but only 10% of treatments are performed by a woman surgeon? Would the sex of your surgeon make a difference to you? Well, I have two very talented UK cosmetic surgeons here to speak to us today, Dahlia Neild and Angelica Cavoni. Now, we also have a live treatment going on behind us, which we're going to come to a little bit later on. Welcome to the show, ladies. I suppose ideal candidates that come to you that are not probably confident in going to a male surgeon. Is there any particular treatments which you find uh, are common that women come to you rather than a, a male surgeon? Um, a lot of my patients come to me because I'm a woman. Uh, but... Um, Many, many people feel shy about showing parts of their anatomy to a man, even, mm. if, it is a sur even if it is a plastic surgeon. Uh, some for religious reasons or for uh, cultural reasons. Um, and some simply like the fact that, uh, you know, the feminine, the feminine touch, as it were, on the artistic part of plastic surgery. 
Also, I suppose you've got great personalities. That's why uh, people come to you and you're very, very good at what you do. Angelica, what do you experience from patients coming to see you? I mean, I think you were saying that you did a lot with uh, women on, was it would it be breast surgery? Uh, for example? Or I, I, would a, I would agree that a, a lot of patients feel sometimes shy and they would prefer to open up to a female surgeon. At the end of the day, I don't think it makes a difference. You have to be a good doctor and a good surgeon and um, obviously a lot of our patients then send their friends and make recommendations. That's how it works. So, so that, that's the most important bit. But just for that initial first consultation, I think for some patients it's important.